All right, so we're still working with image trace. And what we have here is we have an image, a photo. Um, and even though Illustrator is not the best photo editing software, that would be Photoshop. There's still a few things you can do in Illustrator with some images to give it some effects. All right, so I have this photo here then I have four copies of it let's just leave this as the original let's not do anything to it let's just look at these four all right so let's open our image trace option remember we've docked it here on the sidebar if you don't have it here remember to go to window then go to image trace and then you're able to put it on your sidebar all right so once again click on it on the image trace Let's click on the first image and let's leave the preset as default. Tracing result mode will be black and white. Let's click trace. You get the pop up that says tracing may proceed slowly with this large image. Would you like to continue? Yes. Press OK. That just means this image is a very high quality image. So it might take a while. OK, so again, we have this traced image and remember to click expand. And with your wide arrow, you're able to select specific pieces of it and I just did a black and white result all right let's go to the second one I'm gonna select it let's go with same thing again let's just trace it one more time press OK but this time instead of leaving it as black and white go ahead and change the colors to any two colors that you want remember to click expand um, so select it and don't leave it as black and white change the black to a different color and then change the white to another color. Make sure that they are colors that complement each other. If you would like to use a color palette you grabbed from online, that is fine as well. So once again, change these two colors to any fill colors that you want. Okay, I'm gonna click on image trace and I'm gonna go to the third one. And for this one, let's choose a different preset. Let's go with uh, line art. Click OK. It's gonna do something funky. It might think that it's ruined it's not let's go to a uh, grayscale and you're gonna notice that it's gonna change it to a grayscale image pretty cool let's change it one more time let's go to color all right so it traced it and made it into objects and you can see where the different color changes are of course it's not an original photo anymore it's now a vector image so it's different little objects that you can go expand and then change its appearance its feel Let's go ahead and change the colors because it has way too many. Let's change it to three. See what that looks like. Okay, so let's leave it like it is. Notice how it's used three different colors for it. And one more time, let's do the same thing with this one. So click on the fourth one and let's go to the three colors preset. I want to see what this does. See if it looks similar to what we did here. And let's check it out. And yep looks like it's done the same thing so just different ways of getting to the same result don't forget to click expand on all of them so that you're able to modify each of them I'm gonna click expand this one we already did okay so now go ahead and leave this original like it is leave the first one the black and white tracing like it is the second one it's two colors it's black and white go ahead and change that to any colors that you want so that it creates like this unique filter effect and do the same for the last two. Okay, I'm gonna show you some shortcuts to make your life a little bit easier when you do this. If you zoom in, that's probably the best way to get these very small pieces. Remember, if you also click on the space bar, you get this hand and you're able to drag this. But the best shortcuts right now for this assignment is to have a shortcut for the wide arrow and the color picker because, because you're just reusing the same three colors on your keyboard. If you type in the letter A, it changes it to a wide arrow. V is black. So once again, the letter A and then the letter V as in Victor. All right, but the one we're using the most is the letter A, the white arrow. And the other thing I'm using is the color picker, which is the letter I. See, notice how these give you the shortcuts letter A. That's what this means. And color picker, letter I. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold shift. And now I'm going to just type in the letter I and it's going to change my arrow to my color picker. And I'm just going to pick this color and a once again i'm just going to keep going and do the rest 